number 1 write down all the possible outcomes in the set notation for each of the following event determine whether the event is discrete random variable or continuous random variable so what does it mean by discrete and continuous so if it is discrete then you can get the value so what is the value an exact an exact number so if it is continuous continuous then the value is in interval so for example for discrete you can get two three or four something like that just the exact value just the exact value of what it is but then for continuous it is in some interval so like maybe the answer is in between zero, 10 to 20 or something like that so this is mean by continuous and this is what we said by the discrete so A, six prefects are randomly selected from peoples to form five. X represent the number of prefects who wear glasses. So we see here, six prefects are, be, are randomly selected, right? So um, so we see X represented by the prefect who wear glass. So we have six prefects. So the number of wearing glass may be 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. The number of people up from six who wear classes so is this discrete or continuous so this is a discrete why because you can see that the value is either 0 1 2 it is exact number right okay for B seven patients are randomly selected from a hospital for a blood test so we see here seven patients are being selected and X represent the number of unprivileged patients so we see here X is the event so we see here the number of unprivileged patients from the 7 patients. So maybe you can get 0 up to 7 because it's either 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this is also discrete. This is discrete random variable. This is discrete random variable. And this one is also discrete random variable because you can get the Z value. So for C, the shortest building, the shortest building in Saroja City is 3 meter, while the tallest is 460 meter. So the shortest is 3 and the tallest is 460 meter. X represent the height of the building located in the city of Saroja. So you know that the lowest is 3 and the highest is 460. So the height of other buildings must be in between. So it must be in between the shortest and the tallest one. So the value of x, so x must be in between 3 and 460. So we see here x is in between 3 to 460. So we see here this one is in interval. So you cannot get the exact value what is x. So this is what we call as continuous random variable